Uh, people you've never met are working to make uh, you their next victim of identity theft. During tax season, cyber criminals target employers preparing their workers' tax information. Channel 5's Tracen Bragg spoke with the Better Business Bureau to learn how companies can keep personal information safe. We found out having the right software and training is the best way to avoid exposing sensitive information. Last year during tax season, a member of the Mercedes ISD staff unknowingly sent employees personal information and W-2s to a fraudulent email source. MISD Superintendent Dr. Daniel Trevino Jr. says this year they're stepping up the district's security firewall system as well as improved employee training to keep that information safe. Emails that don't hold integrity, uh, information being requested that perhaps looks a little shady. Uh, those are all red flags that we went through training uh, for these uh, individuals that hold staff information. President of the Better Business Bureau, Dolores Salinas, says identity thieves are busy during tax season. She explains properly securing personal information is key. She says educating employees is just as important. How can identity theft happen? What you can do, what you as an employee can do that makes information available to others that aren't supposed to have that information. Educate your employees about identity theft, about the repercussions and the dangers of it. Salinas also recommends limiting the number of employees who have access to sensitive information. For employees, Salinas says a little monitoring goes a long way. You're checking your information once you have filed your tax with irs.gov to see the progress of your return, make sure that there's a confirmation that your return has, your re return has been received, especially if you're expecting a refund. Selena says these days being extra cautious is key to protecting your identity. Mercedes ISD is still monitoring their employees' personal information following last year's leak. IRS officials are asking anyone who receives a fraudulent email asking for personal information to report it to the IRS. Information on how to contact the IRS is attached to this story on our website, krgv.com. In the studio, Trace and Bragg, Channel 5 News.